What's up guys, it's your boy Melak, so we back Great play as Paris Saint-Germain, after Paris Saint-Germain away to Leverkus I know him through Leverkus because he was killing it dead After that he went to Aston Villa After Aston Villa spent one season and it's going to all eat hot All eat hot is a great club, I rea I'm reacting to all eat hot, you know that I react to all eat hot clubs, but I think he's 25 bro, like he got more to go more to see in the european league that's my opinion but yeah i feel like this is uh number one man musa diaby the second one we got even tony first of all i saw even tony for the first time in the euros that's why that's the the reason that i know him after that i checked him out i saw he had a great season at Bradford, making 20 goals something like that Bro, after that season in the Premier League Cup, you definitely need to go to a bigger club. That's, you know, that's what I think, bro. But even Tony is going to all Ali. He's 28. He's not there yet to the, to the, you know, to the front, but still he's going to all Ali. Okay, I understand, bro. Money, I understand that, you know. Get the back. I understand that, bro. Respectfully, get the back. But, bro. I think a lot of people that are watching Premier League would see you in a like a bigger club in England, like a Manchester United, the Arsenal, or Chelsea. But me too, me too. But I understand it, you know. I understand it. But bro, I think it's just, yeah, it's just me with the with the football fan kind of, yeah. But yeah, he's going to Al Ali. Um, I didn't expect, it. yeah. The third one, Eddie Enkentia. I'm not, bro, I'm hard with names. Enkentia, Enkentia. Okay, he's going to Crystal Palace. I saw him shining at Arsenal last season as well the other season, bro. This guy is a great player, bro. Um, I didn't expect this transfer. The reason why I felt like he got more to give to Arsenal. You know what I mean? I feel like he can be that that that, that player there in Arsenal. But yeah, he's going to Crystal Palace. Um, he's young. He can still show what he got. But, you know, I just I just see him at Arsenal. You know what I mean? This is my opinion. But hey, have a great success at Crystal Palace. I hope you can show them, you know, what they missed. But yeah, man, let's get it. The fourth one is Sufyan Amrabat to Fenerbahce. I didn't expect this. Because last season... Manchester United was really pulling them out as well as the great performance in the World Cup. They really wanted them. Hey, right, they got them right now. They throw them away. I was like, bro, what? What? I felt like um, it wasn't his best season, I think, at Manchester United. But still, give him a chance, bro. Like, what? To Fenerbahce already? Crazy. At the fifth place, I got Sergio Des to PSV. Uh, the reason. The reason why I got Gino Des, if we look at the CV of Gino Des, he got a crazy CV. He went from Ajax to Barcelona. Barcelona played a lot of good games. I can't lie. He played a lot of good games. After that, he went to AC Milan. And I think after that, he went just you know downhill. But he's still young. He's 23, so he can definitely go up. But to PSV, um, he's, a, he's as well Dutch. So, you know maybe it's just that move as well he was like yo let me let me create myself back again and after that we're going upwards you know what i mean but i felt like he would go to a thing much bigger club but yeah Sergio, that's fifth place at the sixth place we got yusuf mukoko i heard a lot of this play he was young as well like he was one of the youngest players that did that did that did that so at Dortmund, he scored a lot of goals. He made crazy games as well. So I didn't expect this move to Nice. I was like, bro, oh, wow. I feel like this player need to show himself at the first team. You know, I, I, I thought that, you know, I thought this guy is going to go to the first team and be one of the biggest players of Dortmund. But yeah, he's going to Nice. So I didn't expect that one. As well. At the seventh place, we got Juan Bisaka. He's going to West Ham United. I didn't expect this one as well. I felt like he was really at his place at Manchester United, killing it there. Um, but yeah, I understand it a little bit. But to West Ham United, I didn't, you know. But I felt like it's gonna be as well a, a crazy, crazy West Ham United, you know. Yeah, but West Ham United is right now on fire, you know. 
let me just say that but yeah man it's i didn't expect this one but yeah let's get it at the eighth place we got memphis the power with no club still that is crazy to me as well this guy got a crazy cv as well he didn't show us on the euros what he capable of unfortunately but he had a great season at Atletico madrid i don't know why they didn't sign the contract or extend his contract because i felt like Atletico madrid was his place you know what i mean yeah but yeah he still don't got a club i don't know where he needs to go because the top five you know is another five i think turkey or something like that but still i was like bro wow but yeah Memphis Depay. I hope you find a club, definitely a good club as well for you to show what you got still. At the ninth place, we got the Rafael Ferran to Como. I was like, Como? Where is that? Como, Como. I was looking it up. It's in Italy. It's a new club. I think went from the second league to the first club. Totally invested and stuff. So I was like, bro, Ferran, we know you. I know you from Real Madrid, Manchester United. Right now to Como? How? So I didn't expect this one as well. I hope he's killing it there. But yeah, this, that was uh, an unexpected uh, transfer. Definitely. And the last place, the 10th place, was Raheem Sterling to Arsenal. I was like, what? This guy went to the biggest clubs in England. Premier League. Crazy. Started at Liverpool. After Liverpool. Manchester City. After Manchester City. Chelsea after Chelsea Arsenal right now what is next Tottenham <laughs> Manchester United bro that's crazy this is one of the craziest run runs in the Premier League I think this is one of the craziest I didn't expect this I hope he kills it at uh, Arsenal I hope it but yeah man it's, uh, it's crazy crazy one but yeah we got that let's go to the biggest and the best transfer marks my opinion let's get it Number one, we definitely got this number one. Kylian Mbappe to Real Madrid. From Paris Saint-Germain to Real Madrid. Crazy transfer. I, you know, I, I expected this, you know, Real Madrid is my club as well. I expected this, but it's it's nice to see that. He scored as well two goals, bro. First games, two goals. Bernabeu, crazy. Kylian Mbappe, top one. The second one transfer that I got is Matthijs De Ligt. Yeah, I'm saying it in Dutch, but Matthijs de Ligt, de Ligt. Um, the reason why I got Matthijs de Ligt at second one is I felt like he was really stuck at Bayern Munich. Yeah, because he's a good defender. He's a really good defender. So going in from Bayern Munich to Manchester United, I'll be kills it there at Premier League, man. So yeah, man, the second for me is uh, Matthijs de Ligt. The third one is Endrick, 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 Endrick. We already did a video of him, so we already know what he's capable of and what he can do. So, Real Madrid right now, crazy player. Go check the video out. I'm not going to talk too much because you need to check the video. Endrick, third, Real Madrid. The fourth place, we got Michael Olise to Bayern Munich. That's one that I thought like, bro, this, this is a really good transfer. I feel like a lot of big players are not going to buy Munich anymore. I don't know why. I think the last season was money and stuff. But I feel like this is really good transfer for him. Where he can show himself. So um, I hopefully he can do that. So yeah, man, good transfer. The fifth place, I got John Felix. Um, He had kind of a good season at Chelsea. So going like permanently to chelsea is kind of it's kind of sick as well but right now you got that mix in chelsea so i think this is going to be a good transfer for sean felix and i hope he's going to kill it there in chelsea but yeah man good transfer joe felix sixth place we got joshua six i didn't expect this one i'm not gonna lie but i think this is a good transfer as well because he deserves it bro this guy went to the whole of the academy of of uh by munich Bayern Munich, um, unfortunately, he couldn't go through to the first team in Bayern Munich, but he came back in Bologna, made a great season, a lot of goals, and going right now to Manchester United. He made a goal already, so that is good and great. I liked it. So, yeah, man, Joshua 6 a Manchester United. Let's get it. The seventh place, I got Mason Greenwood to Marseille. 
Mais ils ont vu mon Masai, Masai, Masao, Marshall, that's it. Yeah. Crazy good transfer as well. I feel like Marcel is really one of the best clubs in France. It's it's a great it's a great opportunity for him to show himself to the world again. He had a great season at uh, Celta Vigo, right? Celta Vigo. This is a great celebration for him. So yeah, man. It's a reward to Marcel. At the eighth place, we got Turam. Not the Turam, the brother, but the little brother of Turam. I don't know the first name. I don't know how to say the first name. But he made a great transfer to Juventus and this is so crazy I think I really like this transfer the reason why right? because his father played at Juventus his brother is playing for Inter so that's just crazy as well but yeah man he's going to Juventus and his dad was really happy about it so I think this is one of the best transfers as well at the ninth place I got Lukaku Lukaku had a really hard time as well in the season I feel like this guy is underrated underrated this guy is one of the best best strikers in belgium definitely but one of the best strikers as well in the world so yeah i i expected a transfer like this to napoli i feel like he's gonna be one of the best players in napoli as well bro this guy went to inter this guy went to to roma so hey think italy is really his place um unfortunately i know this guy want to shine at chelsea because chelsea was one of his his dreams you know what i mean so i understand why he went back to chelsea but unfortunately chelsea is not for lukaku but the Serie a is for lukaku so i know he's gonna shine there so yeah man good chance i feel like summer was a really underrated player let's see if this guy killed him bro in the championship one of the best the best player in the championship last season he won that as well he won that so i understand that well this transfer is really he thought about it you know i think he could go to a much bigger club but he knows this is the center to kill it again so i know at western he's gonna kill it but i hope y'all liked it if y'all liked it don't forget to like subscribe i see you guys soon man air force